Hey guys, Double Wide Six here. I have a video for you, actually on a washing machine. So, kind of went out on a limb here, and I uh, wound up picking up an LG washer yesterday, actually. So here's the deal. I have this thing out in the garage, and uh, it's one of these modern washing machines. If uh, you guys are anything like me, um, you have your all your appliances. Uh, like kind of running forever so uh my wife wanted a new washer and she wanted to buy a brand new one that's just kind of her style and that's sort of where we clash a little bit but anyhow um i saw this one on craigslist for 150 bucks and it's a 2013 lg and it has this uh front panel on it and you can see i have it it's running right now and you can uh, listen to it and hear how quiet it is so anyhow when I when I got this thing the problem was that it wasn't draining right and if you look down here on these units there's a uh, pump down there and uh, a lot of times the hose being up in the wall to drain I have it going uphill to a garbage can to make sure it's pumping and uh, this this time I'm actually running it with some soap in it um, yeah, it's just on spin cycle, so it's not pumping like full power. But anyhow, uh, the problem was the thing was not pumping, and uh, I brought it home, and there's a wire down here. That blue and gray wire comes up to the side. It ties in. There's a uh, power clip here. I unplugged that, and I read on the pump, down there that it's hundred and twenty volt so I plugged that thing in before I even plugged in the washer and the motor was not turning so I then moved on to removing one of those hoses down there I think the one on the left and uh, when I reached in there to feel the uh, impeller on the pump uh, I'll show you what I found Right here is the culprit, it's uh, a little bobby pin that was wedged in there. Now before I bought this thing, I uh, did my homework on these units and I read online that, uh, well this particular unit, um, I saw all over actually like 3,000 reviews um, and they sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot and Best Buy so you can get it like anywhere. and. Uh, the reviews were really good. I think it has about 4.7 out of 5 stars out of that many reviews. Um, and if you type in, you know, we live in our internet society. If you type in the model number um, and you type in what the problem is, like it's not pumping out. Here we go. It's, it's spinning and, and pumping. So uh, anyhow, if you type it in, what you'll figure out with this unit is... Uh, it actually gives an error code these newer units and I'm really not familiar with it because I don't really have any new appliances till now um, it, it was like E1 was the code and I guess you can uh, you know it has smart diagnostics so you can call LG and they'll tell you what your problem is and um, the, the guy that owned this he called and they told him that the problem was the pump so I read online uh, an article about a guy that had the same code, problem with his pump. He said that he plugged the pump, pump in directly to the wall and it seemed to be running okay. So he bought a new pump and that didn't fix his problem. The pump's about 65 bucks. And uh, he went on to find out that he needed a new electronic control board. So he bought a control board and that took in care of his unit. So I kind of figured that this thing might need either a pump or a control board or both, you know, maybe about a $150 fix. Um, as far as uh, washers go, um, I've heard a lot of problems about, yeah, this thing still has the tape on it, it's so new. Um, I heard a lot of problems with the front load ones, so I wanted a, a, a top load. And um, 
you know, as far as uh, consumer reports, the ones that have the best reviews are actually LG and Samsung. And, uh, you know, all of these appliances are now controlled by electronic boards. And, you know, those two companies are, you know, like the top producers of uh, these uh, circuit boards and electronics and that type of stuff. So I think that's that's why uh, their their washers and dryers and refrigerators and all their appliances are rated pretty high. So anyhow, uh, this was a a real nice find. Seems to be working great. This is uh, actually the fourth load. I'm about ready to bring it inside and uh, take the other one out. Um, so. Uh, anyhow, I'm pretty pleased with this, and now you can see it's it's pumping again because it's doing some sort of rinse cycle thing. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be working good. The only other real hiccup that I had with this thing was uh, I was removing one of these hoses, and those hoses are actually like siliconed onto the pump, and they have uh, these pretty cheap clamps. And I took a screwdriver, I put a little hole accidentally in the hose, so I, I cut that off, the edge where the hole was. And then I ended up uh, putting on real hose clamps, and that seals everything nice and tight. Here it is pumping again. Rinses a bunch of times and pumps, running nice and quiet. So I'm real pleased with that. Um, anyhow, I am double wide six. I got a whole bunch of repair videos and everything from small engines to outdoor projects to appliance things, round the house fixes. So you could check out my channel page. I'm going to put a link here to uh, where you can get yourself an appliance online. Um, I have a friend that actually just got a refrigerator from a big box store and it took about a week to get the thing to his house they brought it to his house it had a dent in it so they took it back and took him another week to finally get his refrigerator so what um, I'm going to show you is that you can actually get an appliance online through Amazon they have warehouses all over they ship pretty fast and uh, the nice thing about Amazon is that there's 19 states that don't have Amazon uh, warehouses and things and you wouldn't have to pay any sales tax on it. So it's not really that bad of an option because you can't usually just go to the big box store and get your model and take it out of the store that day because they really don't have that many in stock. So uh, I'll put a link to the bottom of the video and as always Thanks for watching. Have a great day.